Hey guys, Cloud Wolf here, and I'm back today with another creation. This one was suggested by Toffee Cat, um, and it is in the Raycasting tutorial, so this is definitely going to be under that playlist. Um, but it's throwable swords, like from um, from Hypixel's minigame uh, Murder, where you can right-click a sword and you throw it. So this is vanilla Minecraft version, and I'm pretty sure it's multiplayer friendly. I haven't tried yet. So here we have an iron sword, and here we have our throwable sword. So when we hold our throwable sword, we kind of hold it in kind of a frontwards position. We're ready to throw it, and when we right-click, we throw it, and then you have to wait 50 seconds. This is a magic one. I didn't want to make one. I didn't want to make. I would have to make it a lot more complicated if I want to make it. So you have to go pick it up, uh, and you lose it when you throw it. That would be a lot more complicated. So I decided to just make it to keep it, which is exactly like the high pixel version um, of the uh, of the sword, where you right click and you shoot it. Um, it's not horizontal. The high pixel one is left to like flat. This one I made. Uh, up and down. I think it just makes a little more sense that way. It looks pretty cool, uh, but it doesn't really matter exactly how it is. Um, so you're probably wondering, how did I make this? As with everybody. Anyway, so <laughs> there's a couple there's a couple different parts I split it. Um, so this kind of has to do with something we went over in a previous video, which was the teleportation. Um, but this one's a lot simpler, so I think you guys will be able to understand it a lot easier. Um, so first, we are executing, and so, okay, let me, let me just get this down for you. So when you right click, this is actually a carrot on a stick. It's not an actual iron sword. I just retextured it to be an iron sword and that's why it's kind of off the regular texture because they didn't adjust the model to look like a regular iron sword. Um, so first it's testing if you're holding the carrot on a stick named throwable sword and then it's testing if you right click, that's what this click scoreboard is. If you right click with the carrot on a stick in your hand, then it will set your throw sword score to one. So it's like this guy's ready to throw a sword, right? Um, these two are just the um, tell the little action bar commands to tell you if you are ready to right click or if you have a cooldown, but we'll get to that later. And then this one just removes it, so when I'm not holding it, I don't have the tag, and this one sets my click score to zero. So now that you have established that basically when I right click with the sword in my hand, it'll set my score to one. So now what this command is doing is it is executing at anybody that basically right clicked and has a refresh score of zero. So I wanted to make it so you can't just spam it. Um, you can I can you can change it really easily to make it so you can spam it, but I wanted to add a refresh timer so that at least um, one player can't shoot a sword twice in the same time it's alive. But all that is adjustable. Um, but anyway, so it tests for somebody that is at zero for their refresh and right clicked, and then it's summoning the our ray casting boat, our classical ray casting boat, a hundred blocks in the sky. It is a ray casting boat with a armor stand in the front and an armor stand in the back. So we're just going to have a boat, armor stand in front, armor stand in back, um, and that's how the ray casting boat works. Uh, and then the next command, and it's summoning 100 in the sky. The next command does the exact same thing when you right click and your refresh is at zero. This time it's summoning the sword right at you. So it's summoning the armor stand that is that sword. Uh, this one is just summoning it right at you. So then this is going to add a sword, a throw sword time of one. This is something that I added um, after we'll get into why, um, but I had to add a timer so that we could tell how long the sword has been flying for so it doesn't fly forever. Uh, so it will eventually die after about 100 seconds. So as soon as my throw sword refreshes, you will see that the sword dies. Um, so after about 100 ticks, which is five seconds, it will refresh uh, and the sword will disappear. Um, so this is important just for this next command right here. So this command is executing at somebody that right clicked with the sword and they have a refresh score of zero. But I also added, um, I also added to at least, ooh, I added to this one. So what it's doing is it's executing at somebody who right clicked, right? Then it's ex executing a hundred blocks in the sky, which is where the boat is. And it's teleporting, teleporting a random boat just in case two people do it that are in the same block. It won't screw it up and do like all of them stuck together. But it's teleporting a boat that like the boat with the two armor stands, a ray casting boat that has a score of sword throw time of one um, to the player and 180 degrees backwards. And that's just how we set up a ray casting boat. You summon the boat uh, at the player, and then you teleport it to the player so it's facing my direction, but then you flip it around backwards because if you want it to move the fastest it can without doing uh, faster ray casting, which I did do a tutorial on that, um, but I haven't done the tutorial for directional faster ray casting. Now, right now, it's just that. Going in a straight line, because you also have to rotate all the boats, which is a little complicated. Um, but anyway, so what it does is this is the fastest it can move using ray casting uh, currently. Um, it's about as fast as I am flying, 
Um, but that's the fastest it can go using current ray casting. So it's teleporting the passenger that's the farthest away from the boat to the boat or vice versa. It's just teleporting the biggest distance. Um, so anyway, it's teleporting one that has a sword time of one. So as soon as this thing goes through one tick, it just goes through the whole line. What's going to happen is it's going to summon, if I right clicked, it's going to summon the boat. It's going to add one to it. And then it's going to teleport it to me, right? And it's also going to, but it's going to teleport it to me a hundred blocks in the sky. So it's not going to be, the boat isn't going to be um, down at me. It's going to teleport to me about a hundred blocks in the sky. This next command is teleporting the sword, the armor stand sword to me, just as with the boat, 180 degrees, flipping it around. Doesn't really make a difference because it, it'll move eventually. You can just make it like that. Um, it doesn't make a difference. You see, it's, it still works. Actually, it looks a little better that way. Um, so... And But remember, notice that this says sword time of one. So if it goes through a second time, the sword that's here has a different time number. So this is just to help so that if I shoot a sword at another player, the player can't shoot a sword at me and it will teleport both of the swords to me and send it back to them. So if you kind of get what I'm saying, I don't want people to be able to ping pong the swords. If I didn't have a sword time uh, scoreboard that checks this, uh, what would happen was if I right click, it would just teleport any armor stand that is in my 100 blocks up in a radius of one. It'll teleport any of those boats to me um, or any random one of those boats to me. So you shouldn't be able to bounce swords back. That's why we have this little time equals one. So only if their time is equal to one and no bigger. Um, so now that we have, so we summon them, then we teleport them to us and only new ones basically. Uh, then what it's going to do is it's going to set anybody that right clicked the um, that has right clicked the sword in their hand and has a refresh of zero and it's going to set their refresh to 100. So this is where you can adjust how long you want the refresh. I just change it here and it'll take longer or shorter or zero. Um, then the next one is going to set anybody who right clicked the swords, right click sword score to zero. This just resets their score so it's not trying to constantly summon them. Um, and then these are the these two are going to be for moving the boat across the sky. This is executing at the second passenger in the ray casting boat, and it is teleporting the uh, the boat that it's closest to um, to it. And as a result, it'll move through the sky. That you know how ray casting works. If if you don't, I really suggest you go back and watch the other videos in order so you get what I'm trying to say. But this is the basic teleporting. Uh, you're executing at the passenger and you're teleporting it. These extra little things like tag equals throw sword, name equals boat sword is just to specify what it is. So I don't have, say, two ray casting commands in the same world and they conflict. They mess with each other. Um, then this next one is doing the one where it teleports things below it. So this is going, this is a little bit new. Maybe I didn't cover it too much in the other videos. Uh, so this one is executing at the boat. So, okay, the ray casting boat. And it's executing 100 blocks below it. So where the player would be or 100 blocks below it, which is where the armor stand would be, and it is teleporting a armor stand that is a sword, uh, and it's teleporting the youngest, just one of them, in a radius of one to it. So what it's doing is it's executing at the boat up there, and it's looking all the way down here and looking if there's an armor stand right here, and it, if there is, then it will teleport it with right here, facing the same direction as the boat. So um, of course I put 180 because we have the boat is the boat is moving backwards. So if I don't have the 180, then the sword will be moving backwards and it'll be facing me. So you just have to keep that in mind. Um, so it'll keep going. So as it moves through the sky, it'll teleport the sword along with it. Okay, so that's all of the ray casting setup. I hope you understood. So next we have the killing and dealing damage. Uh, this is just executing at the boat with at least a time of 15. This The time score also really helps um with keeping sure making sure that people who throw it don't get hurt by it so it waits uh 15 ticks to start dealing damage to something that's not a zombie in a radius of two and not as and if that entity is not a skeleton then it'll deal two, instant damage to two which basically will just kill it okay so anything that's not a zombie or skeleton and i made that specification because those two instant damage will heal them um and then later on we have one these two that'll deal damage to skeletons instant health and to um Zombies, they'll get instant health as well. It's just a little out of order here. Uh, next, we kill any throw sword that has a sword time of 100. So this is just kind of concluding things. Um, if the thing counts up to 100, then it'll kill it. And then this is the last part that is a little complex and a little important. So notice how when I right click, it stops when it hits the wall. You may not see it, but it's, it's through the wall. 
it's it's stuck in the wall. It's kind of hard to see sometimes because it gets so deep in the wall by the time the commands work that you don't notice it. Uh, let's just shoot it like that and you might see it. But anyway, point being, if you shoot it directly at a block, it will stick in the block. And of course, if you noticed uh, from that one, um, check this out. It looks like the sword is a little bit off center. It's just because I'm using a basic armor stand. I could flip the armor stand around and move it to look better, but I didn't because um, that just takes a while. Anyway, so what it's doing is it is removing a tag of in air from the boat, okay? So it removes it first so that it, it's like clean slate. Thing doesn't have in air. So then it's going to check if it's in air. So now it's going to execute at the boat, and it's going to execute 100 blocks beneath the boat, so basically where the armor stand is. And it is going to tag, if that's air, it's going to tag the boat with in air. So it's like, it's no, we're just going to pretend it's not in air. Then it's going to be like, now let's see, is it in air? So yes, it is, if it is in air, then nothing will happen. If it is not in air, then it will kill the boat that is not in the air that has a throw sword of at least three. The reason why I did at least three is so that um, what will happen is you'll shoot it and it'll start off and it'll just kill it right away because the... Um, the tag doesn't get applied. It's just it's just a little complicated, but you have to give it a little bit of time uh, to load in and move the boat because the boat teleports to you and it gets all confusing and all that good stuff. But it doesn't matter. It it does it with at least three, so it gives it a little time to check if it's in the air. Um, I don't think yeah you can't th shoot it through a wall even with that small time. Uh, and that's it. And then the last one is just removing one from my refresh score uh, constantly so that it's counting down. So when I get do it against the zero, I can just throw it again. Um, so I hope this was a little, pretty useful to you guys. I thought it was cool. I will have a download link in the description for a um, probably a I'll make it a structure file for now. I'll probably have a couple ray casting uh, things like this that are a little different and I'll add them all in a one command creation for you guys because this isn't too many command blocks. It's only about 23 command blocks. I believe I counted. Um, so I'll, maybe I'll do a survival thing where you can custom craft with custom crafting and stuff for one command, but not in this video. So there will be a structure file, uh, probably called cloud wolf underscore throw sword. Uh, if you want to check this out or use it, if you do use it, just, you make sure you, uh, reference, just have my name down there. Uh, so in the credits somewhere, I don't know, that that's all I really ask. Um, and also show it to me cause I would like to see it, uh, used. I don't know what I would use it for. Um, also, so somebody else asked about making a gun. We will get there eventually. It is way, it's basically this exact same thing, but it stacks on with the speed. So you have to make it faster because this is clearly not a bullet speed and you have to make it, um, you have to make the, the thing move faster and all teleport to you. It's really com a little complicated. Um, and in addition to that, you also have to make it, um, go up and down which this thing, as you might have noticed, does not go up and down because ray casting, the raycasting of this version does not go up and down. Uh, you have to do a bunch of special commands for that. Um, but yeah, it's way complicated, but it's really similar to this. So I guess if you want to make a really crude gun, you can make it using this. But right now, um, what I use is a snowball method. I have earlier videos on it, I believe. Um, but it's a snowball method where you shoot snowballs that deal damage that have no gravity. But anyways, guys, that was just a side note. Um, I'll probably have new videos coming out soon. This one uh, was made because Toffee Cat wanted to see it, and I thought it was really cool. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.